Hi guys, uh, welcome to Nareesh IT. This is Sudhakar, and today we are going to discuss about SQL sub languages. Okay, so in SQL sub languages, okay, how many are there? Okay, and those sub languages, how to use for what purpose? I am going to use in here. Okay, and what is the query syntaxes? Okay, the syntaxes, what kind of syntaxes are there for your sub languages of SQL? That all we will discuss now. Okay, so now first I will go for here. The total, how many sub languages are there in SQL? Okay, so that we will discuss. And first I will go to list out. Uh, okay, that all languages, and later we will discuss one by one query syntaxes. Okay, clear. And now uh, I just go to here. The first we will see the sub languages of SQL. Okay, so the what we called here. Uh, sub okay languages okay so sub languages of sql okay so now uh, we will discuss here the total sub languages of sql language now we will discuss now here observe the first language we called here the, my first uh, sub language of sql is called as a uh, ddl we called okay so it is called a data definition language Okay, so first one data definition language, and this language was having here that some commands are there. Okay, in that first command is create. Okay, so create, and later I have your alter, and later I have here the sp underscore rename, and next one we are going to use here trunk eight. Okay, we are using here trunk eight, and finally drop commands. Okay, so these are what it is your DDL commands we called. Okay, so there are five commands was there in this language, DDL language. Okay, so those are create, alter, sp underscore rename, truncate, and drop. And next one, the next sub language of SQL that we called as a okay DML language. DML is nothing but data manipulation language. Okay, so in this language we have again okay some queries are there here that we called here. First one what we send insert. Okay, and update. Okay, and finally delete commands. Okay, so these are comes under your uh, DML language. Okay, and the next one, next language we called here. Okay, DQL is nothing but data query language. Okay, so in this language, we in this language we having here. Okay, in this language we having now. So the only one command was there in the language. That command is called as a select. And later, the next language we called as a TCL is nothing but transaction is nothing but transaction control language we called. Okay, this language was having here commit, and the second one we called as a rollback. Okay, and the third one we called as a save point. Okay, so in this language, commit, rollback, and save point, which will comes under transaction control language. Okay, so these are transaction control language commands. I can say now. Okay, and uh, here the TQL was having only one command that is called a SQL command. Okay, and later we have the final language and the final sub language we called that is called a DCL. Okay, is nothing but data control language. So this data control language was having the two commands here. One is called a grant and a revoke. Okay, so revoke commands. So these are what it is here. The total five sub languages of SQL structure query language. Okay, so that means each and every language, whatever we discuss here, DDL, data manipulation. Okay, uh, what we can say, data definition language, data manipulation language, data query language, transaction control language, and data controlling language. So these are the five sub languages what is there in SQL. But every language was having some specific commands and those commands we are going to use in to perform your database operations. Okay. So let us see that all commands okay, we will go to see one by one okay, how to write and how to use these commands and how to write my syntaxes that all we can check out. Okay. In this my first language we will discuss here data definition language. Okay. So now we will go to discuss my first one here ddl language commands so ddl language commands and simple i can say working with uh, my ddl language commands working with ddl 
language commands okay so now in this okay i already said you this language was having total five commands are there okay but here these language commands basically we are going to using okay for the three reasons i am going to using here my first reason what it is here creating or create new objects okay creating new objects okay objects are nothing but what it is here for example if i want to create a table okay otherwise i want to create a view otherwise i want to create your synonyms okay otherwise i can take your procedure okay like functions okay and like uh, triggers okay so etc these kind of objects uh, i can go to create now so whenever i want to create my table view synonym procedure function and triggers then you can go to use your ddl commands now okay so this is one thing why why we want to use and the later next one the second purpose is what now the modification purpose okay that is called a modify okay the modify what i want to modify here structure so i will be modify here structure so structure of the object or table so for example i can say now the structure of a table okay otherwise uh, any object uh, if any object otherwise i can simply say that structure of the objects okay the objects i already given above so the structure of the objects whenever you want to change is nothing but modify okay then i can use it and the next one what it is here then i can use for drop so i can say drop the objects okay dropping or dropping the objects here so i can use my drop objects so whenever i want to drop the objects from database i can say simply from database even though i can use my ddl commands okay so that means ddl commands the basically we are going to using for the three reasons one is creating purpose creating objects and modify structure of the object and later dropping the object from database so these are the main reason why we are going to use ddl commands okay so in this the first command we will discuss here my first command is what now create command okay so i think all of you know here create command okay for what purpose i want to use uh, that everyone know this okay so create command simply i just say okay create command simply i just say this command is used okay this command is used to create my objects and also database so whenever you want to create your new database even though i can use my create command okay and also objects is nothing but table if i want to create again i want to use my create command okay so this command using for to create a new database okay i can use uh, to create to create okay to create a new database okay create a new database and also and also like uh, objects are nothing but what now table a create to create a new database and table so whenever you want to create a new database and table again i can use this okay create command now okay so now first of all uh, what i want to do before i want to create my table first of all in my sql server first i want to create one database okay so after creating database later in that database later i want to create my table and after creating table then later you can go to perform and go to insert your data or update or delete so data manipulations you can do it so first of all what i am doing here first in my sql server i will go to create one new database okay and later i will create one new table in the database okay so for those purpose for those operations purpose i should be know the syntax so i'm going to showing here the syntax to to create the syntax to create a new database first of all so i'm going to take here a new database first i'm creating for this purpose i'm going to give some syntax to you just you just remember here the syntax is very easy so create what i want to create now database so database is a predefined keyword okay so create is a command and database is a predefined keyword i'm using and to create database i want to send here database name so this is my syntax here to creation of new database okay after creation of new database what i am doing here later how to create my table so now i am going to write in here syntax to create okay a new table a new table in the database okay this is my second okay so how to create a new table in the database so whatever the database i was created in that how to create my new table for creation of new table 
is simply called a new structure, the table structure if you want to create, then this syntax should be follow. What is my syntax here? Create, okay, I will take your table, okay. So, create and table. Now, later I want to send here, I am passing your table name. So, otherwise I will take your table name, okay, of then later I want to send my column name. So, you can send my column name 1 after column name for every column name after you just uh, send your data type because you know that okay. So, this or the column is regarding to or belongs to which kind of data type that I was mentioned here. So, that that is why I am taking your data type data type. So, data type I was taken here after column name should be applied data type. If the data type is a character data types then you sh should be mentioned size. Okay. So, the size should be mentioned when your data type is a character. Okay. Otherwise, do not mention the size of the data type. Okay. So, like this what I am doing here the column 1 comma in the same pattern if I want to go for my column name 2 Okay, the second column I am creating in the same to same I just send my data type and if it is a character data type what I want to need here size is required. Okay, so, comma and so on. So, like this what you do like this you can create number of columns in a table. Okay, so, just I was created the two syntaxes I am showing in this. Okay, one is how to create a new database and later how to create a new table within the database. Okay, so, by using these two syntaxes now I will go to create my database and table in SQL server. Okay, so, how I can create okay, by using the syntaxes you can see now. So, first of all you will be go as usual okay, go to open your SQL server management studio. Okay, that you know how to open SQL Server Management Studio. And later I just connect, but I am going to connect it. Okay, I am going to connect here. Okay, connecting to my SQL Server with the Windows authentication is nothing but administrator. So, I am admin. Okay, once you can see this. So, I already said to you admin means I can do anything or any kind of operations I can directly perform in my server environment. Okay, and now I am going to take here. So, to write my query, I need a query editor. That query editor we will be take uh, with the help of what now? New query option. So, I just come out to click on new query option, then that new query window will be open now. And later on, later on, what I want to do, I will be created one new database first of all. So, syntax already I was given now the syntax create database database name. So, now later I just come out here to create a one database now. So, create database my database now. So, I can say my class. Okay. So, my class is my database name. So, after writing your syntax you just select this entire query and later you just come out and click on what now execute option and I already said to you whenever you want to go for to execute either execute option you can use otherwise F5 keyword you should be use it. So, now I just selected this entire query and to click on F5 keyword from my keyboard okay just I enter. After enter what it is happen you can see command was completed successful. Okay. So, later this command this statement whatever the statement you got it means this is a positive statement that means your query is successfully executed in my server. Okay. After executed what I want to do this database was created or not if you want to check uh, then you just come to your object explorer window and go to your databases folder. Once the databases folder I just open this then you can see I was uh, created just now what is now my class. So, my class okay, one database I was created. After created my class database if you want to open this then you can see some options was there like a database diagrams, tables, views, synonyms, programmability, service broker, storage and security. So, in this we are going to discussing with what now tables. So, but here you just come out to open the tables folder. Okay, yes, system tables and file tables are there, but these are not necessary here. I just open these folders also, but there is no system, there is no file tables. The system file tables, how to create that we will see in the later session. But here I just go to create my table now. Okay, but before I want to create a table, first thing should be remember. So, first of all, when you see this, uh, okay, drop down list was there here. In this drop down list control, automatically by default the database name was there. So, what is the database name was there here master. Okay. So, that means, if later on if you created any new table 
later on if you created any new table, the new table was created under master database. Okay. So, that is why what you want to do? My table should be created under my own database. So, what I created now? What is my own database here? My class. This is my own database I was created. So, into that database I want to store my tables. So, to store like this what I want to do here? First of all the two ways you can go it. One is I am going to using through query. How to use query means first of all in which database do you want to store your tables? Okay, first the database should be selected. For the selection selection purpose, I am going to using now here use one use keyword use. So, database name. What is my database name? So, my class. Can you see this? Once you enter like this automatically in your intelligence box, your database that means how many databases are available in my SQL server. So, that all databases are showing now. But in this, my class database should be selected because I want to store my table under my class database. Okay, so, I just selected and I am going to execute now this keyword. When I was executed use my class statement, then what has happened? Here, we have a master database was there, okay. but now by default master was there, but when I want to execute use my class statement, then which database was selected there, you just come out and check. Now, I go to execute now. Once executed, command was completed successful and uh, did you identify here? So, in place of master, what it will, it was came? My class, ok. So, that means now I selected, which database I selected? My class database I selected through my query. This is query through I selected. Otherwise, uh, if you want to directly go to select your required database from this drop down list, then you just come out here, ok. You just come out here and I just uh, drag and drop, just I am going to drop now. Once I want to drop here, then it was dropping now. Okay. After dropping in your server how many databases are there that all databases here showing now. After that here which database in which database do you want to create your table the database you should be select. So, even though you can select like this also. Okay. So, my class was selected here otherwise you can change see next I will select my demo. So, now it was changed my demo or not. Yes. So, in the way directly you just go to so to select your manual database which you want it. Okay. After selected my database here, then later what I am doing here into this database my class I am going to create a table. But in my class okay, database I already opened my table folder. So, as of now there is no tables in this database now. Okay. So, now what I am doing here I am going to create one new table. So, the syntax. Okay. So, what is the syntax here? Create table, table name. For example, simply I can say my table name is employee. Okay, I was create my table name is employee and I will send here employee ID. So, employee ID integer data type and later I will take employee name. So, otherwise uh, simply I can say EMP ID okay, integer. So, EMP name I am sending here the var care of. So, otherwise in place of var care first I will go to create my e name or EMP name with the care okay data type i created and later i want to take your salary column okay with one more data type was there that is called a money and later what next uh, for example after salary i was taking age so here age you want to use uh, integer otherwise tiny int whatever you want it okay so like this what i am doing here here i was created one simple table okay the table name is employee with the four columns okay so whatever the column names here my column names are one is eid column name Okay, with integer data type and later e name, okay, with the cat data type and later salary with the money data type and finally age column is also having integer data type that is called a tiny end. Okay, so these are what it is here the table creation and the columns. Now, the complete query I just selected here after selected you just come and click on execute button, otherwise press F5 keyword. So, once I go to execute now, once you can go to execute now, command was completed successful. After command was completed successful, then what is happen? If the table was created or not, you want to check. For the checking purpose, what you want to do? Go to your my class database because in which database are you created your table? Go to that and uh, I just uh, refresh my tables folder Okay, and later you just go to open now. Once open here, the table was created with the name is what now employee and here the extension was there it is called a username and what is the username here dbo database object so every 
okay, every table or view or synonym procedure function, okay, everything will be treated as a database object. So, that was taken here dbo username dot employee. So, after table was created, okay, then what I want to do now, the next immediately you have a question, how to see my table structure? Okay, so that is immediately question you will be rise. Okay, so when I want to see my table structure or structure of the table, then I am going to use uh, I am going to use one specific syntax. Okay, whenever you want to view your structure of the table, so that we called as a so syntax syntax to view. Okay, I can say now. Okay, I can say now the structure. Okay, syntax to view view the structure of a table structure of a table. So, now here whenever I want to view the structure of table, okay, whenever I want to view the structure of table, then I am going to using one stored procedure, the predefined stored procedure I need that is called a sp underscore help, sp underscore help and later I want to send, later I want to send table name. Okay. So, what is sp underscore help that we will discuss at the time of procedure okay, concept, but here simply remember sp is nothing but stored procedure, it is a one of the predefined stored procedure in SQL server and through this procedure I am going to view my structure of the table. So, that is why here I was given my syntax was now sp underscore help, it is a predefined stored procedure and along with this predefined stored procedure you should be send your table name. Okay. So, once I will send my table name, then I will be get my uh, structure of the table. Now, you can see I just go to write my example. What is example here? sp underscore help my table name. Whatever the table name are you created just now, you just give it your employee. Okay. But here after getting this, okay, now you are getting a red mark below, but it is not an error. Okay. So, why it will take means in the same editor why it was taking red mark means in the same editor I am going to or else I have some more statements here in this editor. So, for example, these, these statements whatever it is there that all statements I am going to just uh, remove from my editor. Once I remove from my editor now in this editor only we have a one query statement that is why you can see now this time what it is happened the red mark uh, whatever it is there the previously the red mark is avoided okay? because in the same editor if you have a more than one statements, then automatically it will take a red mark, but red mark do not feel like it is an error. It is not an error, it is just uh, the representation is showing that in the same editor more than one statements are there. Okay. So, to avoid that red mark, you just uh, avoid that all remaining statements and keep your necessary statement in this editor, then it does not show any red mark color, okay, the what line what whatever it is there that is avoided. Yes, sir. So, now I avoid this red mark and later I just select this one and to execute it now, once I executed what is happening, you can see. Then complete your table structure was displayed. The table structure was displayed here and you can see this is my table name. Okay, so, on which table name, on which name I was created my table that was represented name and this is owner dbo, I, I said it is a user database object and this is user table because this table was created by user okay? and this is the creation of date and time on which time, which date are you created your table in the database that was showing here and later on in the next uh, level you can see this is my column name and this is the type of the data type and computed columns if any there, okay, as of now I did not create any computed columns, but if it is there it will showing yes, but it is no, there is no computed column. And later it is length and this is precision and scale. So, these are two values and finally what it is here, the nullable, again next what it is here, nullable column was there here. This nullable you can see now, this is my nullable, so nullable column, okay, and later nullable means you know every column by default accepted null value that is why each and every column the four columns whatever I created in the table. So, that all columns are accepting s, s, s and s. Okay. Later I used here trim okay, the fixed length these are not necessary you just uh, avoid this. Okay. So, now up to here what is now column names are there the column names whatever the names I was given there at the time of creation that all names are showing now. So, one is first one is a what now EMP ID, EMP name, salary, age. 
okay and later i was given the type of okay column in this type character money and tenant later there is no computed columns the what is the computed we will see in the later session and later length was there so tenant tenant the length is what now 4 bytes in the same to same character i was given here 10 bytes of memory and money if i use money it will take by default 8 bytes of length and tenant will occupy of memory okay and this is what it is here precision values okay so and the precision when i take four precision is 10 okay and the precision is nothing but simple i can say range simply you can uh, identify it as a like a range okay and now your money was range was 19 comma 4 this is precision and uh, scale okay the money data was given and this is tiny int range is what now 3 3 means 3 digits so that means actually tiny int range what is now 0 to 255 so that is the range the range 255 it was represent three digits okay so now this is the precision you just remember it is a range okay so now scale was there but what is scale we will later we will discuss and this is what it is here the type length precision and scale and nullable means every column is accepted nulls that's why it was showing sss okay and later on later on on the table i didn't create any identity any row grid and any primary or foreign keys this kind of constants i didn't apply it on this table this is my first sample table i was created without having any other facilities okay so that's why everything was showing here no 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 okay so now this is the way to view your structure of the table okay after design your table you just go to call like this then you will be finding the, your complete uh, structure of the table okay so now what is happened here in this i just created one database first you want to create your database first of all and later select the database and after that you can create your new table after creation of new table if you want to view the structure of the table then you can use this sp underscore help table name okay so this is what now create command how to use and how to work okay so now uh, the creation of table and database we discuss here and later here observe uh, when i was created my table okay can you see the structure of the table now okay in uh, especially you just come out here the structure of the table emp id name salary and age okay so now after design or after create your table structure if you want to see graphically you just come out here object explorer window and go to your required database my class and later you just go to table and after going to table folder now your table was showing now and this table was having some addition uh, symbol was there here addition symbol is nothing but plus symbol so this symbol you just uh, expand here once i want to expand here okay on the table expand here on the table what kind of the things or facilities i can apply on a table that each and every facility information was going to store in a particular folder for example columns are there so in columns folder what it is storing your table columns information was storing okay and later keys uh, like a unique key primary key this kind of keys if you apply it on a column of a table then you can use the keys of storing under this keys folder like a constraints triggers indexes and statistics so which you applied on a table those related information was going to store in the related folders for example best example i'm showing now so as of now what i did here i just created my table with some columns that's it and column name data type i was given but other than this i didn't apply any other special facilities on this table okay so that's what it is happening here once i want to open this columns folder then you can see the what kind of columns are you given at the time of uh, at the time of designing level those all column names are showing now okay so it was showing you are, you can see clearly emp id int is a data type and by default your column is accepted null in the same to same emp name character data type of 10 the size was given 10 and null is accepted salary money null is accepted age tiny int null is accepted that means so how we observed and how we viewed your structure of the table okay by using sp underscore helper command okay here also same to same you just come to your object explorer and go to your table and open your columns folder that all columns details was holding and storing here yes or no so now in that way also you can see your table structure which columns are there which data types applied what kind of names i, I was given to my columns okay this all kind of information you can also you can see by using this 
okay, this object explorer window without writing my query sp underscore help, the query is not required to view my table structure. This is graphical, I can say graphical, you can view this structure of the table. So, after table was designed, created in my database, now what I want to do, I want to modify, I want to modify the table structure. The what kind of modifications I can perform on my structure of the table means, okay, so for example, you observe, for example, what I want to do now, for example, initially my table was, okay, created with how many columns here, four columns, okay, four columns we created at the time of table creation. But in this, in this, if I want to change, for example, first one op option I am saying that, for example, did you identify EMP name was there, this column was there now. So, EMP name column. So, this column data type I was given care of size, of size is how much now 10, but care data type it is a fixed length data type. So, that means how much size are you assigned to the column along with your care data type that many bytes are allocated. Okay. So, that means for example, care of 10 I was given now. So, care of 10 means maximum into this column, maximum I can send my characters up to 10 characters expressions only I can send, but the 11th character expression if I want to send into this column it is not accepted, why because your length is how much now 10 was given, so that means 10 characters will accept it, okay, because each character will take uh, 1 byte memory, okay, and later character, char I was given, char data type is a fixed length data type, it is nothing but static data type, so you know if it is a static data type what is the problem, memory is problem. Okay, unnecessarily I am going to wasting my memory. So, that means what I do here and what I am doing here. So, first of all what I am do, for example, if you want to change a data type, otherwise size of data type, then how to change? This is my first modification I want to perform on a table. Second one what it is here, for example, initially my table was created four columns. For after some time, assume like this, this employee department name I want to add. So, I am going to adding one more new column to my existing table, already table was created. On that table, I want to add a new column, but how to add a new column to my existing table? That is second operation. Third operation what it is here, for example, initially my column names I was given EMP ID, EMP name, salary, age. For any column name do you want to change? I do not want it this column names, I am going to change my column name then how we can change. Okay. And later the last one, the last operation what it is here, for example, in this four columns assume like this age column is not required for me. So, I treated this as an unwanted column which is not necessary to me as for my requirement. So, at the time what it is happen here, the how many columns are there, unwanted columns are there in the table those unwanted columns you just uh, remove, yes or no, but how we can remove, okay. So, these are what it is the four operations you can perform on your existing table structure. That means, the modifications I am going to doing, the modifications I am going to doing on structure of the table. But if I want to do this kind of modifications, then which command I need, if you have it means, then I need the next command is what now? My second command we called as a which command here altered. So, alter command I am going to take now. Okay. So, if I want to do the modification okay, or changes, okay, any modification or any changes do you want to perform on structure of the table and also structure of the database also I can use this alter command. Okay. So, this by using this alter command, the what kind of uh, modifications I can do it uh, on my table structure means, just now I said, my first one what I said here, how to, how to change. So, how to change data type and also, and also size of the data type, size of the data type. Okay. So, now I can how to change, this is my first operation on my adjusting table. So, how to change data type and also size of the data type. Okay. And later second operation on my adjusting table, these operations I am going to performing on adjusting table. Okay. Second one what it is here, how to add, how to add a new column. Okay. 
So, how to add a new column to the table? Okay, so I can say to the table. Okay, so now this is my second operation I want to perform on a table. And later, third one, what I said here, how to change? Okay, how to change? How to change a column name? A column name or name of the column? Yes or no? So, how to change a column name? That is one more thing. And the fourth operation, what we said here, this is called a how to drop how to drop a or how to drop the unwanted columns. So, unwanted columns how to draw from my table. Okay. So, this is the fourth operation. So, these four operations if you want to perform on existing structure of the table then I should be use a alter command. Okay. So, now by using alter command these four operations I can perform on my table. Okay. So, how we will perform one by one we will go to check by using syntaxes okay, by using alter syntaxes how to perform these four operations on a table. Okay. But how to perform we will see in the next video session.